there, I'm Sarah Miga, your go-to real estate expert and broker of Miga Homes Luxury Real Estate. If you're new here and interested in all things real estate, be sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking that little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. I publish videos on a new real estate topic all the time and you don't wanna miss anything. With that being said, today's topic in our series, Inspection Pitfalls and Frequently Asked Questions, we'll discuss city inspections with the four following questions. What is a city inspection? Do you need a city inspection? Where and how do you get a city inspection? And what happens if you do not pass the inspection? Let's jump into it with question number one. What is a city inspection? A city inspection is an inspection of the home that determines whether the property complies with local ordinances, building codes, and laws, often granted in the form of a certificate of occupancy, the property that has passed the city inspection has been found to be a suitable living space and is safe for occupancy. In addition to residential inspections, a certificate of occupancy may also be required for properties to be used as rentals and for commercial spaces. In order to pass the inspection and to be granted the certificate of occupancy, the local municipal office will visit the property and will evaluate many aspects of the home, including but not limited to heating and cooling systems and ductwork, structural integrity of the roof, floors, walls, and ceilings, proper painting and insulation, driveway and sidewalk integrity to prevent tripping hazards, window screens, working smoke detectors, handrails in all necessary locations, running in appropriately temperatured water, pest infestations, fireplace safety, sewer or septic systems. Once the initial inspection has occurred, it's likely that the municipality will have a list of items to be remedied before the certificate of occupancy can be granted. If this is the case, there'll be a secondary inspection scheduled to confirm the completion of the work. Now that we know what a city inspection is and what it may cover, let's move on to question number two. Do you need a city inspection? This is a great question, and the short answer is, it depends. If the home is new construction and you're the first to occupy the home, a city inspection will absolutely be required to verify that the builder has met all code and safety compliance laws. However, if the home was previously built and you're not the first owner, whether or not you'll need a city inspection depends entirely on your local municipality. As a realtor, it is our due diligence to be in touch with the municipal building department to verify whether a city inspection is required. City inspections tend to be required in more densely populated areas where a city has more resources to deploy a staff to inspect homes and where home sales occur more frequently. If you're curious which cities require a city inspection prior to selling a property in the Southeast Michigan area, reach out to our team today and we would be happy to provide you with a list. Question number three, where and how do I get a city inspection? First, you or your realtor will start by contacting your municipal building department to order and pay for the initial inspection. Many municipalities now have an online system to initiate this, but you can also call the office or visit in person. Once payment is completed, you will then schedule the initial inspection directly with the building department. If no corrections to the property are required, you are in luck. But for most homes, there will be at least a few corrections needed and quite possibly a permit to complete the work. You'll need to hire qualified contractors as needed to complete the work up to code, and you'll be required to schedule a reinspection with the city inspector to verify the completed work. Giving paid receipts is not considered sufficient. Some municipalities charge for the initial inspection as well as the reinspection, while others only charge a single fee. This will depend on which city your home is in. Once the reinspection has verified the completion and quality of the work required, you'll likely be granted the certificate of occupancy within a business day or two. This leads us to question number four. What happens if you do not pass the city inspection? Well, it's entirely possible that the work required for the city inspection is quite extensive or is delayed by the weather. As an example, a driveway repair. If the driveway or sidewalk outside the home is crumbling and causing significant trip hazards, you may be asked to replace or repair the driveway. In this instance, a delay to complete the work could be due to the weather, contractor availability, or the availability of needed funds. It may be possible to obtain a temporary certificate of occupancy to allow for the completion of the sale and the occupancy of the new homeowners. Generally speaking, the city would require a financial deposit to be held until the work is completed and would have an identified timeline to complete the repairs. 
While the city inspection process can be seen as cumbersome and challenging, I do feel that it is an important element in keeping our houses safe for the many generations that they will serve. I hope I've given you a lot to think about and that you've learned a ton from today's episode. Please subscribe to my channel today and tune into the next episode in this series, We Found Mold, Now What? As always, if you think you may wanna make a move in the next year, give me a call and set up a consultation today as I create custom moving plans for all of my clients up to a year in advance. And don't worry, if I'm not able to personally assist you, I'm well connected and can refer you to a similarly qualified agent anywhere in the world. In fact, if you haven't yet had a chance, please check out another one of my videos on why you should get a realtor referral for an agent when relocating. That will teach you all about how realtor to realtor referrals work and what to expect when you ask me for one. You can also check out my other series on my channel on relocation, selling a home, buying a home, new construction, downsizing, buying and selling simultaneously, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.